This is the hardest emotion to let go of in the end. The, the reason why it was because it was the very first multi-generational emotion. The people you know of as Adam and Eve, who were, the real name is Ammon and Amen, they chose self-reliance over God-reliance. It was the very first bit of emotional damage that got passed on to the next generation, this emotion. And so it's very deep within your core. Very deep within your core is this desire to want to control everything around you to your own pleasure. Right? That's very deep within your core. And it will be an emotion that comes up for you a lot of times in your progression. The question I have is, you said that when a child is born, they take on the emotions of their mother and father, mm -hmm. but are they also taking on the emotions of their grandmother and grandfather, yep. and their great and great and great, so we all have all the emotions of Adam and Eve? Yep. Thank you. Yep. So therefore, <laughs> therefore we would actually have the memory to a certain extent? Uh, yeah, most a lot of the emotions that hit you when you were when you were a child were in the womb. Obviously, you don't have memories of the events associated with those emotions, and this is why your mind is very um, really useless when it comes to dealing with emotion, uh -huh. because many of the emotions you're going to need to allow yourself to feel, you won't actually have a memory of. Mm -hmm. You'll just have an emotion of, mm -hmm. right? Because those emotions have been impressed down the generations mm -hmm. to you. So if you do have an emotion and you sit with it and you embrace it mm -hmm. and you get a vision or a knowing. Yep. That'll be very likely a spirit friend of yours yes. helping you understand where that emotion has come from, giving you a picture, if you like. Okay. So with that vision and that spirit helping you get through that emotion, mm -hmm. could we then have that belief that that's a parcel? But really, it's an emotion yep. associated going all the way back to Adam and Eve. That's how most people believe past lives, is that in reality it's just spirits that are with them, giving them different pictures to help them deal with their own emotions. But then they misinterpret those pictures into being a past life experience. Thinking it's a past life. Yep. Okay. Just answer. Uh, Is that actually the really exciting now? Sorry? Was that then the ancestor's life? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Well, it might not even be an ancestor. It might be like someone else, Joan of Arc, or <laughs> someone who's famous. Even it could be coming to you. There's a lot of very famous people who are struggling in the spirit world to deal with their emotions, and uh, and there's a lot of spirits who are willing to put pictures into your mind, think so that you think they're someone famous, so that so that you can have a report. So when you deal with these emotions. Them, you move them on, would you possibly be in a situation where you become emotionless? No, never. In fact, what happens is you become like emotion full, I suppose you put it this way. In that everything you do is driven by desire and passion. Everything. So you become more joyous, more open, more free with all of your emotions. So it's the opposite to detachment. So it's uh, basically uh, divine love. Well, it's not. You, you're allowed to have, of course, even though you've connected with God and are one with God, you're still your own person. So you will still have your own desires, your own passions, your own longings, your own areas that you want to investigate. And you'll have like, and the, the more and more you, you live in your free will, the more powerful you become as a soul the more you can actually obtain and actually enjoy. So your joy actually abounds more and more and more, not less. You become more emotional, more desirous, more passionate. You have better love with making with your partner. And all, all those kind of things all happen as a part of the process. <laughs>